Jam Croc Sanctuary, also known as the Holland Bay Crocodile Sanctuary and Education Center, with Lawrence Enriquez, the Croc Man of Jamaica, <laughs> and my great friend Joe Wazalewski. <laughs> the Holland Crocodile Sanctuary came about five years ago. We built a complete facility within three months and a week. We basically organized how we were going to go about doing it. Materials for building the field station, which is a wooden building, including the solar system, because the facility is totally off-grid. He slept in his truck outside the entire time uh, and worked every day in every single aspect of this uh, sanctuary he was involved with. Come here. There's no rope. All right. Oh, he didn't like you saying that, Joe. I know. Look what you did. You hurt his feelings. Chase. What has happened over the last 50 years in Jamaica is vast amounts of what were traditional crocodile habitats on the south coast of the island. Many of these areas have now been taken over for development, whether it be housing or other forms of recreation. Resorts. Resorts. As a result of this, approximately 80% of what was considered wetland, coastal wetland habitat and also inland wetland habitat have basically disappeared or been very badly compromised. And crocodiles being an apex predator require large areas of wetland in order to exist. The only place American crocodiles will nest in Jamaica are sandy, sunny, secluded beaches on the south coast. And, and this place right here, this sanctuary, is the last vestige of the genetic continuity of American crocodiles in Jamaica. American crocodile in Jamaica is the equivalent of the bald eagle in the United States. It's our Woo! Good analogy, Lawrence. It is our national animal. Right. It is found not only on our coat of arms, it is also our currency. So it has been recognized. But the problem that we face is that successive administrations have not prioritized the protection of the animal. They're a part of a chain, Savannah, and this chain, if you take a link out, right. it, it, it's broken. Right. And they're not the dumb killing beasts that, that they're often portrayed. The crocodiles are amazing creatures, and, and, and they've been around for over 200 million years. We hope to keep them around for a couple more generations here in Jamaica. How many crocodiles to date have been released from the Jam Croc Sanctuary? Over the last two years, um, we released approximately 75 young animals between three to four years old. And they have been data collected from measurements, microchipped, health checked, health screened, and then they've been put back into the wetlands. Uh, yeah. And, and, and not only do they have all the crocs here and, and everything, but all around us is history. Right. There's old structures from uh, three, 250 to 300 years ago. So this place is how far from the nearest town? Approximately three miles. Now when you think three miles in your car. It's nothing. Yeah, it's, it's no big deal, but this three miles is a different kind of three miles. <laughs> On a good day, it takes 30 minutes. Yeah. And if it rains, Forget about it. Yeah, it's almost impossible. <laughs> Since the cane industry closed down, the factory actually ceased operation, which is on the other side of the river. There's a private property of approximately two and a half thousand acres. The road conditions <laughs> have deteriorated within the property. So Lawrence's it's... truck broke down. So Lawrence has had to ride his bike in and out of this uh, three yeah. miles through the mud. Is that how it's supposed to work? No. <laughs> That's because the, the hoses need to be replaced because they're sort of dry rotting and they're not leaking. But I don't want to chance it. And when I was driving, I was putting gas in and having problems sometimes starting. I couldn't understand what was happening. And I found that the, the bun had loosened up. It hadn't dropped out, thank God, uh, but was leaking gradually gas and you didn't even notice it. So so what I, happened when you broke down and it was raining in the night? Oh my God. What'd you do? Parked and left it. <laughs> you walked how, off? How did you get back to the sanctuary? Walk. 
How far was it? Uh, mile and a half. And through mud. Through mud. And did you have groceries and stuff with you? Yeah. <laughs> But it's no big deal, right? Mm -hmm. Also, he doesn't have the ability to get to Kingston to pick up chicken to feed the crocodiles. And this is just all this reality. Joe and I aren't here all the time. Lawrence is here all the time, every day. Evil, who you've met through other videos, is here all the time, every day. Treya, Joey, uh, Yan, the whole Powell family, like everyone that helps with this project, Rooster, Delani, Ricardo, like everyone is so important. This is what you call practical conservation. They're, we're, we're not a bunch of scientists that are catching animals and measuring and weighing them and figuring out. We know these things. And what we're trying to do, what Lawrence is trying to do, is to keep this species around for the next generation and so on and so forth. And the only way to do it is to have a facility like this. And the only way to fund it is to have people donate money. Lawrence is spending his own money. Approximately out of my own pocket, close to 100,000 US. To now that's a facility. nest egg, folks. That is a nest egg, and, and he shouldn't have to do that. Some of you guys watch because you just want to see cool crocodiles. And to be fair, I want to see cool crocodiles too. Will we see Every any? Single day, yes! Rogue is one of the coolest crocodiles ever. I love pirate, like you guys love pirate. Uh, the crocodiles here have become like family members, especially yeah. to Lawrence, but to yeah. us too. And to you guys too. So, I don't know, think about it. If you have any great ideas, post them in the comments below. Like, I'd love mm -hmm. to hear from everyone. Um, and if there's something that we use, like, we'll let you know. And, you know, also we have an intellectual consortium back in Kingston. Everyone there is, is working just as tirelessly as we are. So we're really happy to be a part of this Gatorland Global Project. And let us know how you think it might be great for you to be a part of it, too. Even if that's just a great idea or a thumbs up and subscribe to this video. Thank you guys so much. Here's some more jam crocking. We can't get through. Nope. <laughs> Don't do that. Oh! Rude! He told Rude. you, Lawrence. Rude! You're walking by? Uh, maybe. I feel like maybe he's in a bad mood now. He's in a bad mood. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Who's doing oh, that? Oh, no. Come on. Joe wasn't go, so light footed. All right, hold on. Go now. Two. It's Savannah, your turn. <laughs> hold on. Go now. Go, 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 go. Savannah, come, come. Ah! <laughs>